Toyota Tacoma paint problem? Man, I got a shock this morning. Good morning. Morning, buddy. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Uh, I was terrified for a minute here. Uh, anyway, do I have a problem with the paint on my Toyota Tacoma? And are we too particular about our Toyota Tacomas? You know, first of all, let me tell you right off the bat, this is not a clickbait video. Um, this is what I really thought when I got up this morning and went out to the garage to take my Tacoma for a ride, actually to make a video, um, which there's a whole nother issue there. You might be wondering, why am I riding around in the Jeep Gladiator if I was gonna make a Tacoma video? Why am I riding around in the Jeep Gladiator making a to Toyota Tacoma video? Well, I'll get to that in just a minute. There, There is a problem. Uh, but anyway, as far as the paint goes, let me tell you what happened. I get up this morning, do my thing, you know, walk out through the garage, hit the garage door button, the garage door goes up. I walk over to the Tacoma, you know, as I normally would, and uh, I see this. And I get a shock, you know? You ever, I don't, this is gonna date me a little bit probably, but if you have silver feelings, if you ever bitten down on a piece of foil, you know what that feels like? And if you don't have silver fillings and you've never done that, how about sticking your finger in a light socket? You know that jolt that you get? Well, that's what happened to me this morning because I saw that on the door of my Toyota Tacoma and I thought, what the heck? What's going on with the paint, you know? So I, I got to thinking, well, maybe I drove through something, I don't know, and something splattered on the side of my truck. Um, Maybe Krista did something, you know, my wife, maybe she, uh, maybe she was painting something, I don't know, and she uh, splattered something on the side of my truck and forgot to tell me, I, I don't know. So I go a little closer, I'm gonna investigate, right? I walk up to it and, uh, and then I realize what's happened. You know, her Jeep Wrangler is parked right next to my Tacoma. The garage door's up, the sun is blasting into the garage and it's hitting the chrome Jeep letters on the side of her Tacoma and reflecting onto my truck. That's what it was. It's a reflection from those chrome. There's chrome again. Chrome haunts me, I think. Or maybe that's just chrome's way of getting back at me for my disdain for chrome. I don't know. But it was a reflection from the Jeep letters on my truck. And I tell you, I didn't even realize that at first. I actually had to walk through the sun and then saw it disappear because it looked that pronounced on my truck, like there really was something there. I don't know, just crazy, right? So I got to thinking then, you know, are we too particular about these, am I too particular about these trucks? You know, I gotta say, when I go to a parking lot or something, you know, I always park further away, right? Because I don't want anybody parking next to me. But even if somebody does, and I walk out and I see that they're parked next to me, um, and there's no way that they're gonna touch my truck, right? I mean, if they open their door full on, it wouldn't touch my truck. It still bothers me that they're even in the vicinity of my truck. That's crazy, right? What about driving down the road and something kicks up and you hear it hit somewhere well then you got to go check and make sure you didn't get any little dings or any little chips because you know i got to take care of those right away and the biggest thing is leaners do you know any leaners are you a leaner now what i'm talking about you know if, if somebody comes over your truck is sitting outside let's say and you're having a conversation i don't know a relative a neighbor whoever it is your spouse you're standing near your truck and you're talking. And, and you know, we humans, we don't like to just stand in the middle of nowhere, right? If there's something around, we've got to lean on it. We can't just stand upright. We've got to lean on it. 
And that drives me nuts. People leaning against my truck. I start to think, well, gee, what if they have something in their back pocket, you know, like a screwdriver? Well, who's running around with a screwdriver in their back pocket, first of all? But it, it crosses my mind. Or, or what about jeans? You know, those Wrangler jeans with the uh, little rivets and stuff in them, right? I mean, what if they lean against my truck and scoot or something and that scratches my truck? Do you guys think about stuff like that? Or is it just me? Am I just nuts? Too particular? And probably. I don't know, just craziness. Now, one thing I wanted to mention because I know you're gonna ask, people have before, why are you driving around shooting a video about the Toyota Tacoma in the Jeep Gladiator? And there's good reason for that because this morning I did have a problem, my first problem with the Toyota Tacoma. Now, I gotta say, first of all, full disclosure, I think I caused it. I think it's my fault. I hope it's my fault because I can easily rectify it if it is, I think. But I don't know, we're gonna have to see. I'm uh, actually doing something right now while I'm driving around. You may wonder, how is that possible? Well, if you wanna know, there'll be a link down below to that video. You can check that out, see what the heck it is I'm talking about. What did I do to my Toyota Tacoma to cause my first problem? I don't know. Some of you are gonna say, see, I told you so, I knew it. Well, if you're one of those guys or gals, you were right, and I'm gonna change that. But anyway, check it out down below. There'll be a link to that video if, uh, if you really wanna know what happened, and I would, so check it out. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, I guess I am too particular. Um, it, it was just too much uh, anxiety and pain uh, that one should have over a vehicle, especially when it's only something like a reflection from chrome lettering. Leave a comment down below, let me know. I'd be curious, are you that particular about your truck? The little things like that bother you, particularly the leaners? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have another channel. It is Rob Motive JT, uh, and it is all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check that out. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.